Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you this lovely silicone practice hand from handdolly.co.uk. Um, it's a lady called Kelly that makes these, she makes them all handmade to order. So I just wanted to pop you on and show you it. As you can see it's really really lifelike, it's made out of silicone, it has wires in the fingers so that you can position them into place and they won't move about. It has a tip slide feature so you don't need to soak the tips off this, they simply pull in and out. I'll show you that in just a wee moment. I did um, originally record this with me telling you about it but when I listened to it back it didn't really make sense so that's why I'm redoing it. So as I said it's a poseable hand, it does also have a stand at the back that you can attach to the table which is quite helpful and this is going to be really really good for just doing practice on or doing designs and of course because it looks like a real hand you can take pictures you can see there but the fingers bend into place with the wires the don't move they stay in place and the tips just slip in and out really really simple so i'm going to do um, a quick demo using this and um, show you how to apply a tip to it if you want to lengthen it you could also use forms but i just decided to use tips today so i'll talk you through how i did that i'll pop all the links to handolly.co.uk's social media down below and I hope that you find this helpful. These are just a couple of bits that came with the hand as well. Some hands, um, some gems from Dorney B Gems and also came with some spare tips and also a little glitter sample which was a nice little touch to have in there as well. So these hands all start from £45. They go they're up in price for, you know, the fancier that they are, the larger of the hand, etc. Like if you want a full wrist, etc., they do get more expensive. But I'll pop the links down to the website below and we'll move on to fitting a tip just now. So I've sped this part of the video up just slightly, just for quickness, but the first thing that I'm doing is going through with my file and just abrasing the surface of the tip that's inside the hand dolly. Then I'm taking a nail extension tip, which is just slightly bigger than the tip in the hand. The reason for that is if you use one the same size, they do tend to pop off. Another tip that I like to use when I'm applying tips, two tips on any type of practice hand, is to apply a small amount of active air spray to the tip of the nail, which I tend to do with a brush just to make sure it doesn't get on the actual hand itself. And then apply my tip, which has obviously got glue in the well or at the end of the tip if you're using wellless tips. And that activator spray will just activate the glue. It sets a lot quicker and I think it sets a lot harder. So there's much less chance of it sort of popping off when you're filing and doing all the stuff that you do to the tip. So now I'm sure that that's secure, I'm going to shorten it to the length that I want, file it into shape, which I went for a tapered square today, and then I'll go through and do an acrylic application. This was just a super quick demo that I did to try the hand out. I wanted to see what it was like using the hand file and the e-file, um, and it all worked really, really well. Obviously it's not the same as using a real human hand, but it's about as close as you're going to get without using a human hand. Um, if you compare it to my other practice hand, which is, you know, like one of the ones where you can see all the joints and everything, this was a lot better. So I'm gonna go through and um, file all that into shape and then I'll come back on with an acrylic application for you. So the acrylic that I'm using today is the Halo Acrylic from Pure Nails in white and cover pink. You can get both of those acrylics and the full acrylic range from Nail Tech Network. Um, I'm now a brand ambassador for Nail Tech Network, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, you can use the code DOLLY for a discount site-wide on Nail Tech Network. So I will leave the links to that down below and I'll tell you more about that in another video. I'm really excited about it. So I'm just coming in with my first bead, which is obviously white at the tip and blending that down towards the cuticle. I did come in with slightly smaller beads than I normally would, just because I was conscious of getting it onto the hand. I didn't want to like get it onto the hand on the first time of using it. So it takes me a few more beads than it normally would to complete this nail, but the end result is still basically the same. So I'll go through and do all the acrylic applications and then come back in with the filing for you.
So I'm just coming in now with my e-file and using a fine carbide bit, um, a medium carbide bit, sorry. Um, the file that I'm using, I do have a video for that on my channel, so I'll leave the link to that down below. I hadn't made this nail super, super thick or anything like that, so there wasn't a lot of debulking to do. I just wanted to refine the cuticle area and really get a feel for how it felt using the e-file on this practice hand. Managed to go completely out of shot, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it feels fine using the e-file on this hand. It's definitely more like real feeling than using it on my other practice hand, Doris, which if you've watched any videos on my channel before, you'll have seen um, those nails just clip into the hand and they kind of can move about and stuff. When you're filing, you need to really support them while you're filing. You don't have to do that as much with this hand. So I'm going through with my e-file and then I'll come back in with my hand file to refine the shape, make sure the nail's well contoured and that there's no lumps and bumps or anything like that. And then I'll come back in the top coat and give you my final thoughts. Just wanted to say as well, it's really important even when you're using the practice hand to make sure that your files are etched just as you would with a normal client. This is a silicon hand, not an invincible hand. So if you cut into the side walls with your file, it is obviously going to damage the hand. So just a tip to make sure that your files are etched just like they would be for a normal client um, and really just treat the hand in general as if it was a normal client. Um, to clean the hand, you just use um, warm soapy water and you can use alcohol as well and just dust it off and everything so i just wanted to mention that there So I'm coming in now with my top coat, which is the Halo top coat. Again, you can get that on the Nail Tech Network website. I'll link that down below. Um, and just going over and adding a sh lovely shine to this nail. And you can see already that it really does, you know, it's, it's not a million miles away from life. Like if you look closely, you can obviously see that it's not a real hand. But if you didn't know for a hundred percent then you know it would be quite difficult to tell so once you've cleaned up all the dust and debris and everything from the other fingers you can easily take a picture of this and it would look lovely on your social media I'm just coming in and removing the inhibition layer now um, and cleaning up the other fingers with some isopropyl alcohol and as you can see that looks really really good and um, I just had to push the tap back in slightly where it pulled out a little bit and um, I did get a little bit of acrylic underneath there but practice makes perfect so as you can see the tip pulls out really easy to replace it and um, I know that's not perfect so don't hate on me it was just a quick demo I was doing for you guys um, I'm going to show you quickly how to clean that so again just isopropyl alcohol dust off all the excess dust isopropyl alcohol to get all the rest of the dust off obviously underneath the tip area is not perfect um, but you don't see that so that's not a bother I find that putting the tips in upside down worked better for me so free edge in first towards the cuticle area and then using the bottom of the tip as my free edge that's just the way I preferred to do it so all in all really pleased with this hand really easy to use really easy to replace the tips once you've created a set, you could easily find a way of displaying those tips if you wanted to show them to your clients. So I will leave all the links to this hand down below. I'm really, really impressed with it. Like I say, you can easily take nice pictures for social media. I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon in the next video.